sorry, I'm just tripping. I'm just tripping, tripping, tripping. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the spiritual social. I'm Lexi, your local light worker. I'm a tarot reader and an astrologer, and I'm very happy to be with you here today. Thank you for tuning back in to another pick a card reading. This is going to be on the topic of how do they see you in their dreams. So this can be a person that you're having a strong connection to energetically in the world beyond the veil. This can be as well a crush. This can be even a celebrity crush, somebody that you have on your mind. We're going to have lots of fun today trying to understand what lies beyond the rich world of their unconscious desires, what comes up when they feel relaxed and close to switching in between states of consciousness. So today is a very special day because I'm commemorating the birthday of my grandmother. I have her here and um, I'm also going to be preparing a rose petal reading for you guys um, because my rose petals have finally withered to a state in which I feel that I can read their energy. So to honor her, I thought of um, giving you three options today to honor my grandmother who also loved roses. She was a Leo son. Um, I thought of giving you here three options that are connected to angels. So we have here for group one, the cherubim crew. Cherubims are some of the sweetest angels. We have here the seraphim crew for group two. Seraphims are the highest ranking angels, so the ones that live closest to God. And then we have here the Nephilim. These are the giants amongst angels and some consider them to be even fallen angels. So you can choose by the type of angel that you would like to select or you can choose by the tarot decks that you see here. I have here for group one the broken isn't bad tarot. For group two I have the deviant moon tarot and for group three I have the flower lights of fantasy tarot. You know the drill on my channel. I pre-shuffle the oracle cards which you can see at the bottom of these tarot decks but I'm gonna live shuffle the tarot decks so we can watch magic take place live. So <laughs> without further ado I'm sending you so much positive energy. Make sure to like this video, subscribe and comment down below for a chance to enter into the giveaway. Yes this reading is a giveaway as well. I love to spoil you guys. Thank you so much for enjoying my channel, for making it grow and I just want to shower you with love and give something back to you. So for a chance to win one of my three quick help from the divine written readings make sure to like subscribe and comment down below i'll see you at your pile Mwah! hey group one hey my loves i'm so happy to have you here with me today welcome to a pick a card reading on the topic of how do they see you in their dreams so this is for those of you that were drawn to the cherubim crew and also to the broken isn't bad tarot let's find out make sure that while i'm shuffling tarot cards you like this video you subscribe and you leave a comment down below for a chance to enter my giveaway and to win one of the three quick help from the divine spreads that i am giving out today okay so let's see my loves how do they see you in their dreams they are having pretty explosive dreams about you. They do feel that you are in some way bound or chained. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so um, give me a second to see all the cards. We have here the Two of Swords, as I showed you, the Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Star. Yeah. So we're getting a very, very higher order, spiritual, a little bit magical energy. This person could be into the occult and your oracle cards are nourishment. Oh my goodness, you see all this water here, right? <laughs> They're having dreams that are very, um, let's just say, soaked in feelings. Um, another word I would use would be gushing with delight. <laughs> uh, powerful, 
powerful dreams. Yes, this is about sexuality. Yes, they are having that kind of a dream when they're thinking of you. Believe in the impossible. Wow, their dreams are epic. Woof! <laughs> confirmation upon confirmation. We also have here phenomenon. So we have be still and listen to the spirits. Okay, okay. I might not, um, you might not enjoy what you're going to hear, uh, but also for some of you, I think this could be something that could potentially be a turn on. Okay, so we have here forgiveness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a very clear picture. This person is having dreams that they are um, your savior, your knight, or your lady in shining armor. They are rushing towards you. They are even having dreams that they are kidnapping you from your current circumstances and they are binding you. That's the part that I think might not appeal to some of you out there that might be triggered. So I'm really sorry about this. That wasn't my intention. But there is a lot of binding and I mean, even hearing chaining, bondage. Um, so they want to keep you still, right? Because I think that you guys had an argument in reality or you could be quite feisty, passionate, ultra-independent people and this person has some problems with the fact that you kind of overexert your free will and in their dreams they are picturing exactly the opposite, that they are the ones in control, that they are the ones that are powerful and that can um, fulfill their richest, deepest, even darkest fantasies with you, okay? There is a sense here that they want to please you a lot. They want to nourish you. They want to feed you. They have fantasies that th there is a lot of food and drink involved in your dreams. Almost like, a, you know, like those medieval feasts. Um, because I'm seeing here this person could dream about castles, about kind of a King Arthur kind of um, legendary epic background um, and I do feel that this person has these, I'm seeing here, what was it, was it the Lady of Charlotte in Coventry? I think um, there was that naked woman on a horse that is very famous. Comment down below guys if you remember because I'm having a bit of a brain freeze at the moment. Um, Yes, exactly. I'm hearing Guinevere as well. Yeah, so this person has some really epic medieval dreams where they get to have complete control over you by kidnapping you, by making you theirs, um, by even kind of um, maybe even like tying you to the bed, tying you with silk scarves and having their way with you and being the one that is powerful, being the one that is in charge. But at the same time, it's kind of like they don't want to harm you. They just want to pleasure you. And some of you might resist being pleasured. Some of you might have an issue. Like you might like to be the ones in control. And this is what the reversal of power is. They don't want to harm you. They don't want to punish you and beat you up or things like that. God forbid. This is a person that wants to reverse the power um, dynamic between the two of you. So if you're the one that likes to keep things under control, if you're the one that's playing it cool and safe in your 3D conversations, in their fantasy landscape, this person is the one that has the power, that tells you what to do and how things are gonna go down. And it's because, mostly, I think it's because they're repressing this in everyday reality. They could be the more a complacent or obedient one and in their fantasy world they are you know the knight in shining armor the one that kind of elopes with you um <laughs> and fulfills their secret desires um they have quite psychic dreams about you as well this person clearly sends you sexual energy um, feel free to follow me at msbontomp on Instagram because I um, recently posted about the psychological, spiritual and astrological interpretation of sexual energy and sexual dreams if you're curious to find out more. But closing that parenthesis, um, I do see here very clearly that this person hopes to, to grow something with you um, but it's kind of like they want to um, develop their powers with you because I think you're also, you're a highly spiritual person. I mean, you're here, right? And I feel that together you can really manifest things that are out of the ordinary. Um, yeah, I think this person also has fantasies that they are having these... Um, 
highly spiritual kundalini awakening moments of deep pleasure with you where all both of your chakras are aligned and you kind of supersede time and space it's kind of like you have this sort of cosmic love making um yeah i'm hearing that even makes you feel like you're immortal uh wow this this went really deep really fast this person is quite deep i would say i'm seeing here aquarius um, this person likes to be rebellious. They like to um, challenge the gods, you know, even if the odds are against them, they still want to try out of the blue, spontaneous, innovative, experimental things. This person could be a little bit indecisive as well, but they know that they have everything at hand to manifest and create the life that they want to live the one that they want to choose this is not a person that <laughs> obeys rules very quickly so there is this kind of really interesting dynamic of as they are pleasing you in their dreams in a sexual way as they hold you and as they contain you as they have you for themselves to keep you know i'm hearing you are mine um and feeling quite powerful this person ultimately wants your forgiveness they want to atone for something that they might have done or something that they will do in case this relationship you know you're watching this at a future moment in time seven is also a very spiritual energy it talks about reaching a state of wisdom after undergoing many different hardships in this incarnation life path sevens never have an easy life but they are able to reach enlightenment much quicker than all the other life path numbers so there is a feeling here you know with the sun and the moon sorry the sun and the moon opposites yeah opposites opposites attract soulmates coming together there is a magnetism here like sparks thunder thor like energy you know zeus like energy it's a very, very strong, strong desire here for you. So yeah, clearly this person has deeply sexual fantasies with you. They think that together, when you come together, it's like a phenomenon, you know, like the energy that is unleashed, it's like similar to two atoms fusing, you know, that kind of nuclear core. It's absolutely... It's kind of like you guys achieve impossible feasts of magic and impossible feasts of bravery and and i'm hearing seduction and also physical effort and dress that's what i'm hearing this person could have some certain um bdsm fantasies as well they might associate pleasure with undergoing some pain some waiting some being um slowly aroused and titillated and kind of like teased mm -hmm they might want to do that to you as well but ultimately this person is also a big gourmand so it's a foodie somebody that really enjoys pleasures um through the five senses as well and somebody that just wants to give this to you as well i feel that they also have fantasies i don't know why but i'm really drawn to the fact that the the moon looks like a piece of cheese and there is this bread over here so they might want to like um, make their own cheese and you know give you some slices or maybe bake their own bread and feed you the food that they have cooked you know with the magician here i see it very clearly this person wants to be self-standing and self-sufficient yeah definitely i mean with aquarius energy here this person is like i'm gonna do it myself you know i don't i'm not waiting for anybody's permission to do what i want and that's why they want to stampede forward and grab you and plead with you so that you love them and as they are pleasing you in their dreams you finally fall in love with them and give in to them and that gives them a really strong amount of power so that's what this person fantasizes my cherubim crew i really hope that you have enjoyed this reading make sure to enter the giveaway because i do want to give you a gift and i want to spoil you thank you so much crew and i hope to see you in my next one ciao hey group two hey my loves welcome to your reading i'm super happy to have you here today so in today's reading we are going to find out how do they see you in their dreams so this is for those of you that were drawn to the seraphim crew or to the deviant moon tarot let's find out as i'm shuffling the tarot cards please make sure to enter the giveaway that i have organized for you with this reading like this video subscribe and leave a comment down below for a chance to win one of the three quick help from the divine spreads that i want to give you 
just as a token for being so awesome. So let's see, what does this person think of, dream of? Four of Swords. And then we also have here the Hanged Man. Oof. Ultra rest. Ultra rest. This is deep, deep slumber. This person has fantasies of hibernating with you very strongly. Just right off the bat, only with the tarot cards. Let's see what your oracle cards have to say. Abundance. Oh. <laughs> then we have, wow, sexual energy. I didn't want to make this an 18 plus reading, but I think I'm gonna have to put the 18 plus sign because group one had a pretty sexy reading as well. We also have here, don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. For a moment, I wanted to expel some air. And then we also have here number three, detox, cleanse yourself. And then we also have here fear. This is so sweet, but I kind of had this image when I saw these two cards. It's kind of like this person. They want to be in a, almost like a cave-like, womb-like environment with you. And they just want to sleep next to you for maybe 12 hours, you know? They want to wake up and cuddle you and kiss you and give you some water and then you guys can go back to bed, you know? And maybe throughout the night you wake up and you engage in like some passionate kissing, but then you fall asleep again in each other's arms. I'm getting a sense like of... um two otters two brown bear cubs hibernating together that is the energy that i'm getting here i think this person is recovering from some trauma or they might be recovering from a physical injury and they would love to be able to do this with you so they would love to have you in their bed by their side to touch you to kiss you to cuddle you um i do think as well with leo here you know, Leo represents as well the medic. Um, it's about our health. It's about our capacity to shine, our identity. And don't let pride get in the way. This person's ego is wounded. But I think this is a wound that they carry since childhood. Mm. A wound regarding their mother figure, especially. So this is a person that I feel... No matter how much effort they try to put at amping their energy up, at being positive, at keeping going, at doing a lot of things in life so that they reach a level of wealth and prosperity that they want to attain, they have these moments when it's kind of like they might get depressed, they might get easily depressed or, you know, bogged down in things. So they, they need some downtime. This is also a highly introverted person. Somebody that requires um, several moments throughout the day to just be by themselves, to be in stillness um, and to remove distraction in order to come back into their true self. This is a person that's also highly hesitant. Fear could be blocking them from continuing a connection that they started with you in reality. So they retreat in their carefully crafted world of dreams, fantasies, nourishment. I'm getting a combination of Leo and Cancer energy for this individual. Detox. This person could be using, you know, marijuana, substances, alcohol, prescription medication to sleep and to escape. I feel that prescription medication could be a thing here. If this person is recovering from an injury, and I'm seeing here an injury related to the legs, with the arms as well, but I think the legs are really significant here. This person could have been like a runner or a swimmer, and they got an injury, and now instead of actually competing or training, they need to be bedridden for a while. And they have these really beautiful fantasies where you come and nurse them, where you um, surround them with your love, where you spoon each other to sleep. This is not so sexy as with group one, although we do have here sexual energy. But I think if this person is sending you any sexual energy, I feel that it's more to warm you up, to open up your heart to them. To, so that they can receive a constant source of tenderness from you. This is not about, you know, aggressive, passionate, love bites kind of sex. This is more about tenderness, healing. Let's rest together, you know. Let's match up our unconscious selves. This is really beautiful. I feel that this person um, also could have suffered an injury related to horse riding 
maybe this person took care of horses and maybe a horse kicked them or they were riding a horse and they accidentally were pushed because the horse got scared of something so there is something here that this person is also healing the relationship to that thing that um, caused them the hurt the pain so in some cases this could be an animal that they came in contact with and injured them and in other cases it could be their profession and i can see here that this person did something maybe there are like they don't even have to be an athlete to hurt their feet they could have been just a delivery person or they might have gotten into a car accident that hurt their legs and their feet so i'm getting a sense here that yeah this person is having some really feverish drug induced like prescription medication not necessarily drugs although this person could smoke marijuana recreationally or for medical purposes just so that they can relax you know as they are healing their body so yeah i think that this is what the detox the cleanse and restore this person fantasizes that they are at the beach with you someplace someplace where there are bodies of water a waterfall that they're kissing you underneath a waterfall that you are swimming together looking for seashells and you know crabs and you know random things that you do when you're at the beach when you're having a day off i feel that this person fantasizes the most about kissing you about putting their hands on your face and just looking into your eyes and kissing you very deeply it's a very tender person a very good kisser as well um yeah and i'm just getting a sense that they feel a little bit run down they're not feeling at their best in the spirit i feel that normally this person would be really abundant very wealthy very attractive with a large group of followers but it's like in this period they are run down they're recovering they are hesitant to make a move forward in their life because they have been karmically blocked at the moment by this injury by the circumstances in order for them to see their circumstances in a completely different light and i'm getting a sense that i'm short of breath during your reading and i'm getting a sense that i drank some mineral water right before your reading and i wanted to expel some air and now i feel like the air is uncomfortably trapped in my belly so yeah this person is 100 percent suffering from something physically i can empathize with their energy and i can tell you that they're not in the best shape or place so they could be sending you waves of sexual energy throughout the day just to keep you going just to keep you thinking about them just to keep your heart and your sacral chakra open um because to them you are like a detox you're like a medical um, or medicinal bonbon you know they fantasize about you having this really cleansing effect soothing effect right they have these very rich womb like fantasies where you guys are as i said at the beginning uh locked together on a winter's time in a cave deep beneath the forest or that you are in some sort of um a water cave right or that you are just um, somewhere in a hut and there's a fireplace and you guys are swaddled in blankets on the floor on a very lush carpet, you know, hugging and holding each other and giving each other warmth and having that skin to skin contact, you know. These fantasies are very much like those of being comforted by a parent, you know, like when we're young and very vulnerable and we need that touch and we need that comfort and we need that nutrition from our parents. It's kind of like that kind of a vibe. I feel that this person is a little bit um, psychologically regressing to a state where they felt comforted in their childhood and they want to do that with you, you know, they want to retrieve those deep yummy feelings of being protected, kept safe and nourished comforted together with the person that they love not with a parent this time because they're a grown adult yeah so this is basically what i see here i feel that um very soon this person will complete their healing and almost like a bear coming out of a of, of its cave you know uh, after a long hard winter um they've been hibernating you know and they're full of hunger and you know they want to go out and hunt and and fish and you know uh, they just want a little bit groggy but at the same time it's like ah life again you know so i think that this person as soon as they complete their healing they might be coming towards you because they are super hungry you know after after being deprived of your presence so yeah, that's what I see for you, group two. I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. It felt really yummy, you know, like, 
I don't know, like bathing in honey. <laughs> For a weird analogy, yeah, honey bears, all sorts of these kind of um, themes in your reading today. So before you click away, make sure that you like this video, you leave a comment down below and you subscribe for a chance to enter my giveaway. And I hope to see you in my next one, my loves. Mwah! Bye. Hey, group three. Hello, my loves. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Welcome to your reading. This is a pick a card reading on the topic. How do they see you in their dreams? So this is for those of you, ugh, I need to pick them up, that were drawn to the Nephilim crew and also to the Flights of Fantasy Tarot. For a second, I almost said the Broken is a Bad Tarot, which gives me the intuitive insight that you guys might have listened as well to group one. So welcome to group three. Let's find out how you person sees you in their dreams also as i'm shuffling these tarot cards make sure to like this video subscribe and leave a comment down below for a chance to enter my giveaway and win one of the three quick help from the divine spreads that i want to give you guys just for being so awesome and sweet okay so whoa <laughs> all of a sudden i just noticed i i I felt it when the cards dropped to the table, but I was impressed by how many cards you got. So we have here, let's take them one by one. The Ten of Pentacles. Then we have here the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. Oof, very physical dreams. The Five of Swords. The Two of Swords. Yeah, we had this in group one. Yeah, definitely. So you guys um, have some strong parallel uh, connections with group one. So listen to that. This is again an adventure dream. Okay. You're doing a lot of things with this person in the dream. I feel like you're mostly exploring. And when this person dreams, they have that first person viewpoint that you, for example, can see in games, like in shooter games. Often you have that first person viewpoint where you kind of see from the back of the character, how they view the environment as they go around exploring things. Let's see your Oracle card as well nothing will come of the situation very mysterious this world resilience burn away the past yeah they put a lot of effort to reach you this is an adventure track we have here purity snow moon this person dreams in many different landscapes then we have openness mm -hmm. finally conquering you and then we have abundance and having everything with you the house the marriage um it's like mario finding his princess right <laughs> that's the kind of vibe i'm getting here definitely i think this person could play uh games um they might really like board games as well they might like to read fantasy novels they might be really into um the lord of the rings universe you know the harry potter universe they really like this the adventurous epic, you know, the hero saga, um, where you start off as a person that has a lot of potential and then you travel through the world and you have lots of adventures and you meet helpers and challengers in snowy landscapes, in foresty landscapes, in beachy landscapes, and you meet witches and giants and, you know, um, angels and that's basically what i see here you know you meet beautiful creatures that give you magical gifts and it's all on the path towards finding love and finding out who they are and fulfilling their destiny and you know it's it's absolutely wonderful it's like the traditional adventure game and this person can um in their dreams they have a, a like I'm seeing this collage of all these impressions of the things that they usually do in reality. Like if they read a novel, their dream is going to be slightly colored with the background of what happened in that novel, you know? Like for example, yeah, uh, I'm hearing that this person could really have enjoyed the novel The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo or um, the one with Katniss Everdeen. Oh God, I'm forgetting that. Hunger Games. Yes, Hunger Games, you know? So they like books and stories and their dreams by consequence are populated with the impressions of these books and stories and movies and games that they consume on a daily basis in reality. 
and they like powerful women. So in their dreams, you come across as this powerful, badass, Lara Croft kind of vibe, you know? Like you don't take any crap and you have an arsenal of weapons and magical powers that you always have at your disposal and you're this kind of person that's always running and on the go and always kind of like beating bad guys left and right or bad entities or bad spirits and you have like all sorts of things. I'm hearing like you're able to cast mana and you know, all sorts of like spells and um, all sorts of magical artifacts that enhance your attack or combat abilities and this person actually thinks that you're you're like the embodiment of like this Diana Artemis you know goddess of the hunt goddess of the moon supremely independent and yet incredibly sexually attractive um, warrior like woman you know Xena the princess warrior that's kind of the things that um this person fantasizes about and they they fantasize that they marry you yeah they fantasize that by your side they become um if this is a same-sex relationship that they become the queen to your queen or the king to your queen yeah that you empower you ennoble this person to reach to that height you know um you kind of if they were like naive and innocent at the beginning of the movie <laughs> the movie yeah <laughs> this person's dreams is like a, they're like a movie you know but if they were alone and naive and a little bit innocent and kind of like aimless at the beginning of the dream by the end of the dream it's like you guys have a, a music score and you're marrying <laughs> it's like the whole cosmos participates it's like um princess leia marrying han solo in star wars right at the end of the saga um it's just this thing of coming together and yeah it's just really beautiful i'm getting a sense that this is truly a quest of facing the deep darkness the void yeah i'm getting here the fifth element um yeah <laughs> the supreme being right so yeah exactly this person i really like the way they think because they um they have a very uh, healthy um, a very feminist mindset you know um and they don't have to be a man to have a feminist mindset they can be a woman with a feminist mindset as well keep in mind feminist rights and upholding these um values is irrespective of gender that's the whole point of feminism trying to get rid of these gender differences so we have here resilience and purity so there is this thing that they it's like they need to keep their pure heart as they are facing darkness they need to be careful not to fall to the dark side right um no matter how tempting that might be no matter how hard the quest is and how many times they want to give up like they have to exercise this winner's mentality five of swords not giving up winning at all costs you know even if you have to take some uh cheats <laughs> some snakes and ladders kind of situations you know yeah definitely so you see all the many options all the many doors all the many potentialities and this person is always going to choose well because they will prioritize the purity of their heart and their desire to just be with their princess with their warrior princess and to help her out because i think in their dreams you are on a quest of your own you know in reality you might be um having your own business working hard towards attaining your financial and wealth related goals maybe you're a single mama you know and you're like really uh getting uh, your children all the support that they need while also working a job you know so you're like really powerful and you're you're really achieving your goals you know maybe if you're not a single parent maybe you're just like working to um uphold a really important value for you for example maybe you really believe in environmentalism right or uh, maybe you really believe in gender equality or in helping migrant minorities get their paperwork you know in check something like that and this person really admires you or maybe you have like very strong creative goals like you have a very important cultural artifact that you're creating you know um there is something really very powerful about you and this person is like whew, in their dreams you're like the queen of the underworld i see these two dogs as the heads of cerberus the dog that is guarding the gates of the underworld right uh hades's dog basically so there is this feeling that you're like i'm gonna make the dark map biatch 
<laughs> you know and this person is like wow so turned on by that so in their dreams you're like a warrior princess i see here as well lakshmi um but obviously not the traditional characteristics of the hindu goddess lakshmi it's kind of like you are a little bit um the divine feminine on steroids kind of more like a kali ma kind of vibe so you can be durga one moment and then kali ma the fierce uh, head of durga the other moment right so there is yeah, there is this feeling like you guys are going, you know, you're fighting bad guys, you're meeting all sorts of like creepy creatures. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, um, I'm kind of thinking of the movie by Luc Besson, The Valerian and The Many Different Worlds. Um, I don't think, I think I messed up that title, but it's a really beautiful, um, it's a really beautiful movie, fantasy movie with Cara Delevingne. So there is this thing that this person, yeah, is really, really into this fantasy landscape, has epic dreams with musical scores at the end and subtitles. <laughs> you know they dream in color and technicolor and yeah you guys are adventure characters you are going through all of these different adventures and you're fighting the darkness you're fighting the creepiness around you yeah you're overcoming all these obstacles in order to eventually come together yeah like this purity and this openness it's so majestic you see around full moons this person could have these really powerful epic dreams so that's the moment when i feel that you can connect with them the best around the full moon and especially the full moons that take place during fall and winter because we are having here this kind of colder colder climate colder energy i hope i can speak i got too excited guys so abundance this person wants it all with you and that's what they see in their dreams the fact that at the end after a very hard long quest where they had to prove themselves and the purity of their, their heart you know and they almost died a couple of times it was that intense they finally get their warrior princess and they get their patch of paradise you know so it's a really, really gorgeous type of dream. I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. That's what I had for you today, short and sweet. Make sure to like this video, subscribe and comment down below for a chance to enter my giveaway. And I hope to see you in my next one. Have a great day, my loves. Bye.